Here we are, Power Director App 64, Custom Animated Arrows and Shapes. It's now possible to use anything you like, pretty much. As an example, look, let me just play this sequence. Here's a couple of three arrows drawing themselves to an transparent background, and here's one on a chroma key. This is all thanks to the incredibly free sketchbook, draw and paint from Autodesk. The app is free, desktop's free, and iOS is free because they want everybody to create stuff. So let's have a look at some practical implications, how it actually works. So here's an example once again of the arrows. What I've previously used is stock arrows like this and this. So in my tests, to record the time lapse using a sketchbook, they look a little bit like this. It looks a bit silly. And when I say silly, this is an example of how I'm using the time lapse to build it frame by frame. So if I play the sequence, it looks um, like this with text that is animating all over the screen, which means you can do anything you like. So going on to a practical implication let's say you had a video teaching slide like this and you wanted to ask a question like oh how many words or pictures are there of a cat on screen what you can actually do is use autodesk and then just animate you can see here on my test i'm going crazy because i've not found the right writing tool shall we say watch how it's built then i say oh cat 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 and the sequence is done. Now, what would happen if what I did there is record Autodesk as one time lapse with the slide in Autodesk? This example is where you've got the slide and I've actually built it as just a slide with the circles, which you could argue looks a bit um, awkward and bulky, but it's also clean and crisp and you can color it as you wish. So let's build it over the top. So you've got this. We know it's um, imported as a layer. I'm going to hit that. And then first of all, I'm going to do edit chroma. And the color I want chroma out, of course, is the red. There it goes. Try and build up the feathers a bit. Um, well, sorry, the range and denoise. Feathering is it's probably about, yeah, that do. Then we go back. Now this time we could actually align it over where we want it to go. Then we can come in and ask a question. How many examples of cat picture word can we see? Ready, steady, and there they are. Then you can come in and you can say, let's fade that in only, apply, come back. How many examples of cat can you see? Three. Simple as that. Right, so the last thing I'm going to do is, as promised, go back and say this was all possible through Autodesk. So let's bring up Autodesk to show you how it works. Download the Android app in this example for free. I've got a red, and then I can come along and build an arrow simply like that. If I wanted to save that, I've got two choices. Either I can save it on a white background, or if I hit the layer off, I can save it as a transparent PNG. To do that, top leftish share, that's right, to device. Okay, that's the one we've just done, save. And then to finish this video off, we can go back to Power Director, and let's say I wanted to import that to a new layer because it was PNG, so I will add a color slide of color board rather of what color gray, and I want to add a second layer which is sorry, layer da -da 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 -da, image which will be my export of the one I've just done. Bring it in, and I should get everything as I wished for. Then we can move it around and do whatever we want with it. But you can see that we can build up quite an extensive range. Look, I hope that was straightforward, but I think it probably wasn't, was it? Good luck with Power Director App 64 with an arrow. Goodbye.